Indeed. Now, it's been confirmed that no compulsory redundancies will be made at BAE Systems in Bruff before the end of the year. The news comes after local MPs Alan Johnson and David Davis met with BAE bosses and also the business secretary, Vince Cable, this morning. The effort to save jobs at the site is intensifying this week as hundreds of workers prepare to protest at the company's AGM in London on Wednesday. Siobhan Robbins has this report. They've protested at work, cycled to Manchester to see the Prime Minister and brought their fight to Downing Street. As the so-called battle to save Braff enters its eighth month, MPs continued to pile the pressure on bosses to keep jobs local at a meeting today. At last the company is beginning to engage constructively on finding jobs. They're still being implacable about not moving, uh, not keeping Hawk at Bruff, but they're now moving a lot on supply jobs, assembly jobs and other engineering jobs which will now be kept there which weren't before. So we've had some progress there. They have now announced there won't be a single compulsory redundancy before the end of 2012. They effectively went back into consultation uh, and now they're doing things, they're mitigating some of those job losses in a way that they should have been doing three months ago. BAE says it welcomes the talks but at the moment manufacturing will stop here next June and that means more than 800 redundancies but unions think there are still options. We want to be able to put other engineering work into this site to keep these people together. You know, there is a high-skilled high workforce here, there's a lot of skills, and, and we believe, you know, it's, it's an ideal place to put work in, in whatever aircraft industry or whatever industry they could find for us. Yeah, we'll have these made up for the protest. Yeah, and workers right. like Steve are again gearing up to do their bit. These flyers will be handed out at Wednesday's AGM, where 500 people will be protesting in London about bosses' bonuses and the job cuts. I'm fighting for my future. 35 years here and it's a big wild world out there for losing my job. What do I do next? Progress may seem slow, but both MPs and workers say meetings like today are vital to their fight. If you like, they're playing the long game. They're sustaining pressure on BAE in the hope in the future they'll bend and keep jobs local. Siobhan Robbins, BBC Look North, Bruff.